Hello everybody, this is Sarah Scopic, and you're watching a let's play of Kathy Rain. So, we're finally back in the city. Finally back in my, guessing, dorm room. My abnormally huge dorm room. I was wondering when you'd show up. How did it go? Long story. I found out about some stuff that happened when I was a kid. And I tell her everything. Wow, what a mystery. So, what's the plan now? <laughs> this whole thing was a stupid idea. Uh, I don't know yet, but I'll figure something out. I mean, that's what the most this Charles Wade. You still haven't talked to him. And that strange bright picture you showed me? Those tapes? Listen, I know this guy. Eileen, relax. We can talk about it tomorrow, okay? Oh. It's way too late now. Agreed. Oh, I couldn't possibly sleep now. I'm way too excited. <laughs> I mean, well, no. that makes one of us nighty. Good night, cat. Okay, I bet she's been my roommate for like over a year, because it's my second year. We probably were roommates starting freshman year. Hey, Kathy, wake up! Eileen! Oh, you are so lucky there are no sharp objects near this bed. Guess what? I got an idea. Oh, Please no. tell me it involves you taking a sabbatical. <laughs> so, you found all this evidence, right? Pictures, tapes, and stuff? I guess. Why? Well, as you know, I have a computer. And I know this hacker guy, Dave. A hacker guy that doesn't like end well at all. Oh, never mind. I'll just write you a note. You go back to sleep. Seriously, Eileen, sometimes I just marvel at how your brain works. <laughs> know, right? I can't, can't. Eileen, you're the best. <laughs> you're the best, bud. So she, uh, she does that. Just a dream. Are you sure you want to do this, Catherine? You still have time. If you think there's any chance, you would change your mind. I'm sure, Doctor. Just get it out of me. Hmm? What? Just get it out of me. Is, is she, was she pregnant? But please, don't tell my mom. This is an abortion. I'm sorry, but we have to do that. It's the law. This is definitely an abortion. It's none of her business. It's my choice to make. I have enough shit going on with her already. This would just add fuel to the fire. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. Fine. Let's just get this over with then. Right this way. Ugh, I hate that dream. I don't know for sure because I didn't say, but ten bucks is that that was her getting an abortion. I only say that because, like, they're questioning whether she wants to get it out of her. Which, there is no other medical issue that a doctor would ever second guess <laughs> than something like that. Combined with the fact that they want to tell her, they have to by law tell her mom, because she's probably a minor, when this happened. And she doesn't want to because it's her choice. It ha there, I, I can't see what else it would be. Wow, this guy. And gritty. Ooh. I wonder how that was handled. <sighs> I guess Eileen went to class. I probably should too. Nah. I'm not gonna go to class? Jeez, how have I lasted this long? I'm no geek, but I a computer, that is. How long have I never mind? Oh, what's this? <laughs> There's a note on it. Feel free to use my computer while I'm away. My password is angel love without the quotes. <laughs> you can call my friend Dave at 555-2492. He can set you up with some software. I'll be back in a few hours. Super psyched about the investigation. E. P.S. No gum on the keyboard, please. Remember the last time? <laughs> oh, please. Like she actually uses a space bar. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Looks like she forgot to write down the username. Oh well, shouldn't be too hard to guess. I think it's just some combination of her first and last name. Alright, good to know. What was her last name again? Eileen's girly suitcase. There's a sticker on Eileen it. Eileen Mildred name. Summers. Eileen okay. Mildred Summers. Alright, let's try this out. I apparently am just skipping school, so that's cool. Oh, jeez. Um, I have no idea. Okay. Oh, hey, 
I got it right. <laughs> I just got it right the first time. Man, I've been in school for too long. Because I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, well, they could do this a couple different ways. They might... Usually you have to have the full last name. You don't usually care that much about the first name. So it might be some combination. So I just guessed. I was like, maybe it's E. Summers. And okay, guess that was right. <laughs> Look at this. Wow, okay. Blue pill OS. Wow, okay. Well, I'm glad to know that that's all taken care of. Okay, let's use the phone and contact friend. Hacker Dave. Help me out, Hacker Dave. Can't believe she's nice to love me, bar yeah. computer. Hey, I'm Kathy. Eileen said to call you about some software. Ellie who? Eileen. Red hair, glasses, speaks so fast, her gums ache. Oh, right. I thought her name was Errol. Because <laughs> it's a weird name for a girl. You <laughs> must have a hearing disorder. <laughs> you must have a thinking disorder. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> Nerd. Oh, yeah. No, you can't. Not really. Oh. Ugh, I knew she was full of shit. Nah, I mean, sure, I used to be able to get pirated software, but not anymore. Why not? You forget how to, like, use something else besides LimeWire? There was this misunderstanding, and my network privileges were revoked. You can't use the internet ever? <laughs> the campus IT guy? Don't really see eye Oh. <laughs> That's funny. We used to play bocce together, and let's just say he is one sore loser. What? Can't you hack your way in? Can't you just patch things up with the guy? No way. He's such an ass. He even thinks TNG is better than the original series. I don't know what you're talking about. He thinks the what is better than the what? I know, right? <laughs> I believe that guy. Can't you just hack your way back in somehow? Isn't that what you do? He blocked the ethernet port in my room. I oh. don't have physical access. Wow. I can't imagine, like, doing that nowadays. Like, that would just be horrific. <laughs> but back then, you didn't have to have the internet access, so... Don't you ever leave your room? Use a computer in the library or something. Aren't they connected to the network? Yeah, that's no, not the there same. there are cameras in there. Clyde is just waiting for me to make a move so he can get me expelled. Jesus. You call yourself a hacker? Just use your brain for Christ's sake. Let's figure this out. Wow, you're so sassy, Nancy Drew. <laughs> well, okay. Only an admin account can change the access port. Uh -huh. The only way to even theoretically crack one would be if Clyde logged on to a machine to which we have unrestricted physical access. Okay, so if he logs in from on a on a like a library computer. And, ooh, I got an idea. I'm not gonna like this. Well, <laughs> what you could do is intentionally crash your PC. Oh, no. Well, that sounds especially stupid. Well, not crash it, crash it. Just crash it a little, then call Clyde. Clyde will come over to fix it. If you're lucky, then he'll log on to the network using his admin account. Uh-huh, okay. Afterwards, you can use some of my tools to find and crack the password locally. Yep, okay. <laughs> Worth a shot, I guess. Okay, you can come over and set it up. No way. I have severe IBS. It just wouldn't work. What? Yes. What the hell is that? Irritable bowel syndrome? You, he's gonna poop in your room. <laughs> I am too. Uh, seriously, <laughs> don't wanna know. Oh my gosh, Kathy. Let my buddy drop off everything you need. It's not rocket science. You do what I ask, and I'll get you some juicy software. Quick pro quo. Clatty. I forget what that's a reference to. I know what, but I can't think Whatever, of it. Whatever, weirdo. We'll see. All right. So now what? <laughs> that was fast. Pick up the envelope, because this ain't creepy at all. What'd I get? There was a floppy disk in there with a note taped to the back. Well, what does the note say? Hi, cat. Fit my pretty calm super side that miss. Okay. Read instructions. Use your computer using the blue floppy. Uh huh. Two, use the corrupt MBR utility to crash the file system of the computer. Take the floppy out and reboot. Uh huh. Three, call Clyde at five 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 eight one eight one. 
Tell him your computer crashed and give him the error code on the screen. He'll come over and have a look. It shouldn't take too long for him to fix. Okay. Now comes the crucial part. You need to somehow make him log on with his admin account. Uh huh. Five, reboot and retrieve the admin credentials using the blue floppy. Uh huh. Six, reboot and log on using Clyde's admin account. Seven. Look for some kind of tool to remotely open my Ethernet This is. Port. This is a lot of steps. <laughs> and remember, if you mess up somewhere, just call Clyde, and he'll have to take care of it. It's his job, after all. Okay. Fantastic. I'm gonna screw up. <laughs> we're gonna... We're gonna save? <laughs> um, we'll just... We'll just save here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, I feel all sorts of wrong about this, mostly because this isn't my computer. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Floppy found, huh? Okay. Corrupt hard drive. Yes. Okay. Exit shut down. All right, time for some expert help. Help me. Oh, man. I guess the idea is if you do any of this part wrong, you just have Clyde come over and reboot your computer. <laughs> IT, this is Clyde speaking. How can I help you? Fight with Dave. Wait. Hold up. So, Hold up. I hear you and Dave had some kind of fight. That's Hi, Sorry. I need you to come and fix my roommate's computer. What seems to be the problem? It won't start up. There's some kind of system failure with an error code on the screen. Probably a hard drive failure. Which room are you in? Dorm A, room 5. Hard drive I'll failure? A few minutes. That's really Isn't that super serious? They could just fix that? A hard drive failure is nothing to to like choke a snake at. That's not what the expression is, but I could not hey, think of the expression. <laughs> Oh, you look nerdy. Hi. Come in. You look extreme. Wow, they didn't even try, folks. They did not even try. Hi, Clyde. Hi, oh my. Now, how did this happen? I have no idea. It was like this when I started it up this morning. Hmm. Let's have a look. Okay. And presto. Good as new. That's perfect. Could Could you try logging on real quick just to make sure it works? You go ahead. I'll wait. Ah, no! I need you to do it! Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> ah, da 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 da! 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 <laughs> Help! Oh. Now look what I did. <laughs> For crying out loud. Let me try to log in with my account. <laughs> okay, everything seems to be in order. I've unlocked your account. Please, try not to break anything else. Oh, I'll try. <laughs> okay. Phase one complete. Okay, now I'm supposed to... Hold up. We're gonna have to skip One, through this, two, but use the three. Did that have now comes the crucial five. Did that reboot and retrieve the app six. Reboot and log on using class seven. Uh. Look for some kind of tool to that's it. Okay, let's see if I can do this correctly. Okay. <clears throat> doop -a doop -a doop 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 <laughs> doop doop <laughs> just Oh man. Okay. Extract admin password. Success. User admin password gadget. Okay. Exit. Shut down. Now I need to log in. So these computers, yeah, they must be connected to the. Because I mean, my computer doesn't have something like this. <laughs> okay. Um. Da -da -da admin. Gadget. <laughs> Thanks. OK. 
Okay, network settings. Dorm A, B. There we go. All right, on. to do it. Okay. Okay. Let's think we're good now. We did it. Is this how it actually would work? I have no idea. Well, okay, the main thing that's super unbelievable is how he has a magic five floppy disk that can extract the admin password. <laughs> that's the main thing that's, like, probably a little silly. All right, Hacker Dave. <laughs> Give me the goods. Give me the goods. Yeah. Guess what? You got it? Hang on. Oh, man, I could kiss you. Uh... <laughs> I find this actually especially funny because he called her Nancy Drew and I swear the line of I could kiss you is something that I have heard Ned say to those who don't know it's Nancy Drew's boyfriend um, to her in a game once that's why I find this especially funny I'm still gonna get back at Clyde now what are those admin credentials by the way? not telling buddy, saving those for a rainy day <laughs> good idea I suppose this nice floppy I prepared for you stays in my room then sure, then I'll just have to log back on and click that pretty little lock icon again just emotional blackmail. <laughs> Quid pro quo, Dave. Uh, I'll have it dropped off at your room. God damn, you're like a she Clyde. A Clydeette. A Clydeette. Huh. That is the worst insult I have ever heard. Later, Dave. I like Dave. I like Dave, except he has IBS, so we can never meet him, apparently. I guess it's an excuse for why he doesn't just open the door. Like, he's got a random person drops it off for him, so you don't have to, like, have a conversation of a face I'll and stuff. I'll just get rid of these notes now. I don't need them anymore. Okay. There was a floppy disk inside. Okay, I guess we just use it. I don't know what kind of stuff he's getting me. <laughs> um I mean, let's try East Summers, I guess. I don't actually know. Although, if she gets in trouble, I guess that would suck. Alright. Cool. Okay. Drag and drop audio files to analyze. Um, okay. Drag and drop. Okay. How do I drag and drop? Oh, the scanner. I don't know how to... Here we go. I don't know how to do that with the... I'm not sure how to do it with the audio file, but... Retrieve... It's some it. advanced scanner thingy. Oh, it can adva Oh, wait, it's what? advanced scanner thingy. Oh, jeez, that's super high tech. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it then. <laughs> I'm so- I was this close, guys, to, like, doing the- the whole four passwords thing, but for the admin account, just to see if it would mess anything up. <laughs> Alright, voice forge. Okay. <laughs> Bright picture. I like you. I like you already. <laughs> You're like, no, we're gonna re- <laughs> rename this. Okay. Retrieve the picture. Oh, answering machine. Duh. Because we know the other one's for my... For my grandpa. Alright. Use the computer. Somehow my scanner can do... Uh, voice files. That's amazing. That... that I don't know anything, any technology like that that exists with, for tape recorders. I don't even know if that even exists. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, but we will have to pick up this mystery in the next episode! Oh! Hacking, hacking, hacking! Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you are still enjoying this. And remember, peace, joy, love, and coin, everybody.